Today, Precarious plays Zone of the Enders. Uh, no. No, you don't believe you did, or no, I did not? No, the meaning was not lost. Because you're re- really tornadoing me right now. <laughs> I re- you're really whipping me about like I'm a tiny squirrel. Like I'm, I'm, a, I'm this, a squirrel or a rat. Are we going? Or a, a raccoon. Is this an episode right now? Well, I guess it is now. I don't know. Maybe there's some wisdom in, in thinking and just assuming that if you have to ask, maybe it shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it should be. It shouldn't be. <laughs> should be. Shouldn't be. <laughs> apostrophe T. Uh, in apostrophe T, I mean to say. So last episode. You gotta, you gotta get a contraction up in there. You had a story about libraries or something? It wasn't a story. It was sort of a, a, a discussion. I was thinking about... It's interesting thinking about what it takes to preserve the history of things like video games that exist in such a space that it's difficult for us to comprehend in a concrete way. Mm. Uh, I remember uh, hearing stories about some of the first web pages of the internet that just don't yeah. exist anymore, like anywhere. Like no one has screenshots or no one, no one has shit. People have like vague memories of what it looked like and maybe someone will think to write it down. Some of the first websites that existed on the internet were like like miraculously and serendipitously saved because some guy like hoarded a bunch of floppies in the crusty part of his attic for a long time and was like, oh, hey, this is history. Oh my God, this is history. Oh my God, I almost threw this away. <laughs> oh my God. You know, like stuff like that happens. And it's funny because games and media are being produced at such a crazy rate right now. It, the idea of archiving them so that generations in the future can look back at them, kind of like what we're doing now. This is kind of an older game. Yeah. But but at a larger scale, on a grander scale, you know, 20 years from now, what, you know, how will we look at things like this? Emulators, of course, and things like that. But, but you know, it's interesting that you mention that because it's something that I hadn't really given much thought to. Um, but there's someone that I like on the internet named, uh, he he's Matthew Matosis. Mm-hmm. He does very thoughtful, very thorough analyses of different games. Mm -hmm. Um, And he raised an excellent point that I hadn't considered um, about, specifically it was about Skyward Sword, Mm -hmm. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, but about motion controlled games in general. And he worried about how you would be able to experience it in the future. Yeah, it would be... A... <sighs> because if, because it, if it's, it's like... done well, if it's an excellent game that requires the use of motion controls, right? Right. What if they stop motion controls? What if it's no, not relevant to how we experience media at all? That, like, well, I've... I've... I assume that what would happen would be places like old-timey farm museums where you go churn butter for a couple of hours just to remember what that was like. They have one of the 12 Wiimotes. Yeah, one of like the last 12 Wiimotes. Well, it's funny because, you know, our generation grew up with games and we're going to be responsible for keeping all of this history. Let's try Aha. And I just don't know who's doing it exactly. I mean, in a way, we're participating in the preservation of something like that just by playing this game and bothering to talk about it because of its significance. But I don't know. It's it's uh, dizzying to think about a library of games 
similarly dizzying to think of a library, like the Library of Congress. Fuck, that thing's huge. <laughs> like, and it's just our Congress, you know? It's not even like all the Congress of the world. It's like just one Congress. Just think of all of that, but again, and video games, well, and it just, you start to fall into a wormhole. The reason why I specifically mentioned games that require motion controls, mm -hmm. any game that requires specialized hardware might be difficult to properly experience in the future. Yeah. Just experiencing games, you can, I don't, but you can get an emulated copy of like anything. Yeah, of course you can. Because the internet is what it is. <laughs> is an interesting place that I appreciate. Yeah. I'm going to save because I may rage quit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We've have done that once already. Okay. Well, see, this is the type of, you know, thoughtful planning. <laughs> I wish that I had changed the um <laughs> the PS2's clock to be like 2023. <laughs> so that it you'd be like, we are in the future. We send you a message back from the future. We send a message back from the future. You sure we didn't go to uh, our speaking skills have degraded significantly. <laughs> I really wish <laughs> significantly. Sigraft next like beast Mm-hmm. Es prestigious child snail. Es why you will. Hold on, wait. Why do you do such terrible things? I don't know. Uh. Do you will you lose control over them like they'll become non-operative, or you'll lose control over them like they'll go crazy and wreck shop even harder? Hmm. Because one of those things makes sense. The other one, which is might be more compelling to the story, mm -hmm. I'll be mad about. That's the decoy, by the way. Oh, good decoy. Okay, I need to have, whoop, decoy. Somebody got convinced. No. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, what? I think he, I think he grabbed me twice. Yeah, that's fine. The decoy, and then... That's not what I wanted, but it's fine. Oh my gosh, this thing is really cool. And here I was talking about genders. That just looks like a head, ears. Probably should have used the uh, myth, um, the block there. Oh, uh, can I block Ooh. those? Don't really look blockable, but I'm gonna just gonna hold on to this for a minute. Oh, Whoa. they're chasing your ass! Oh my god, this is. Intense. So we basically shuffled around town for what felt like forever just to be able to fight this thing. Yes. That is exactly what we were doing. That's what happened. Oh, That's hold on. Happened. Something's happening. <gasps> this is what's happening. It kind of reminds me of a bull. It does. It does. It is very bovine with its horns. It's and it's, it's very front heavy. Yeah. Oh, I don't. And now you're getting the horns, mofo. Wow, I think I called it just you in time. You did call oh, it. Okay. You called it. What happens if I do this? It also kind of reminds me of the Shagohod. Huh, interesting. You know that one. You, like, I don't yeah. know if you recall the name. But... I recall the name more than the shape. But, oh. Oh, oh my. Down? Is down the answer? Okay, down worked for a second there. It's funny because now that it's actually using its horns to go after you, yes. it looks more like a bug or a spider than a bull. I'm running out of decoys and I'm not sure. I think I need to attack when that barrier is um, isn't present. Mm -hmm. Like now? No, oh, down, down, please, Juhuti. Oh. oh, getting off any other attack is pretty hard. Let wiggle. Yeah, I saw the health bar be depleted a little bit. 
So this is a tyrant, huh? Yes. Is it just the model is a tyrant, or...? Oh. Wh what? It has a very... You just missed out on being a hero. It has a very... unsatisfactory... How to say this? If you are attacked by something, it is still possible to feel satisfied with an engagement even if you lose, even if you get hit with something, you can still be like, oh, well, that, that seems fair. Yeah, my fault, my bad, I'll try again. Yeah, that was what felt like a very unfair grabbing technique that I, I think penetrated my defenses. Um, I, I would probably suggest unjustly. Like mm -hmm. it, wasn't, it wasn't strongly telegraphed, I think it did a lot of damage. It came out really fast, and I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not sure what the purpose of that move is. I mean, I guess it's to strongly discourage melee combat, but I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about anything anymore. Next episode. <laughs>